Hi guys, this is Dr. Fajana. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to share a simple strategy on how to realign your attitude. How to realign your attitude. Everything starts with your attitude. It really does. It's your mindset, right? How do you start your day? Number one, remind yourself, it starts with my attitude. So work on getting that attitude in a extremely positive state. Number two, build mental toughness. Remind yourself that winners have mental toughness. Just remind yourself that, of that. Next, remind yourself losers have oh no thinking. Anything happens, oh no. Anything's happening going on in the world, oh no. It becomes, it it takes over them. You don't want to let anything take over you, right? Because remember, where you place your attention, if you place your attention to that, if you give all your energy to that circumstance and to that, to, or that, to that person, right? You're, you're taking, you're taking energy away from your creativity, right? You're actually physically getting your, going to get yourself ill if you don't take care of that, right? Because where you place your energy, that's what grows. So if you're placing it on negativity, that's what's going to grow. So remind yourself, again, have a positive attitude, build mental toughness because winners have mental toughness. Losers have that oh no thinking. Also, say to yourself, I'm going to take off those shackles now. I'm going to take off those shackles of oh oh no, victim. He did this. She said that. That person doesn't know me. How could they think that I'm like this, you're going to have to make a declaration of independence and take the shackles off of everybody's stuff. That's how you change your attitude, right? That's what you build that mental toughness. Next, you want to have whatever you believe, that's what's going to come into fruition, right? Because remember, your mind believes whatever you tell it. So tell your whatever you want to increase in your life, say that. Make it a reality. For instance, let's say you're teaching a classroom, right? You want to say to yourself and you're having struggles with behavior or whatever it is in a, in a classroom. Let's say you're an educator. Say to yourself, I have an amazing, smart class. Bring that to fruition. If you are struggling with finances, say to yourself, I am a millionaire. Bring it to fruition. If you're having struggles in your family life, I have an amazing, caring family. Bring it to fruition. Even if you need to write it somewhere, do that. That will help. Okay? Pleasure talking to you.